Everyone is Shar from Shar's Fashion Nation. I want to let you guys know. It's like I've had people ask me, why don't I use my channel to earn income? Okay. Earned income on YouTube or any other platform. Um, for a person on disability like myself, because I'm physically disabled because I'm missing pieces of my spine. I have epilepsy and whatever else that keeps me from like physically standing for eight hours in the day. Um, so, uh, basically like, okay, over here, this bodice just, it took me a week. That took me a week. Angry sewing last night because I got tired of sewing. <laughs> got tired of making these boning channels, which I'm inlaying the boning to this morning. Um, which it's probably afternoon now. Um, so the boning, some of the boning is in the channels. Um, so I will grab some more zip ties to make my. The rest of my bony, I'm almost out. My friend gives me like um, zip ties if I need them. So uh, why don't I use it to make money? Well, first of all, YouTube takes a percentage because you're using their platform. And let me get my water. Water slide. Um. And they're always changing stuff, which gets a poquito annoying. Um, it does. I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there understand about what I mean about it getting a poquito annoying. It just, they change stuff all the time. Like this painting right here. It changes color in different light. I stopped to send that to Nicole and Wayne. I might send that one with it. Um, because then you have to figure out, like, which side is something on when you do something. Let's say, like, um, Sin City Soaps and Candles, which I will leave right here. I figured out it's on the left. My tattoos are on my left arm. So, but when you see it, it's for you on the right side. So, weird, right? Um... Now, if I'm using this camera, which I'm charging up, um, charging the battery, I'm still going to see if I can charge the other battery. I'm not sure if that'll work. But I'm waiting to get some feedback from the person that I bought it from on Amazon about the spare battery. Because I'm going to need it. Um... Because in like three weeks, uh, I go on my road trip with Rocco from Roaming with Rocco, which I will leave right here with Sin City Soaps and Candles. Um, but for Sin City Soaps and Candles, you get 20% off your entire purchase at any time by using my affiliate code, SHARSNATION10. Now, see, I may have an affiliate code for people to get discounts. Now, see, for me, what I consider to be um, paid promotion is they actually send me extra product. I mean, you guys know I have this for the sewing area. I keep one for the sewing area on purpose. Okay? Everything else is my everyday skincare. So, one for the sewing area. And since you guys know I haven't been sewing that much lately, I have like that much left of it. So, um, it still smells lovely. Yeah, smells as good as the day I opened it. Um, so I do have that. I have the stuff that they sent me. Um, and then later I will be showing you guys how to use the Fairy Dust Bath Bomb Powder um, for foot soak. Foot health is important. Um, what's really important to know is 
how YouTube kind of, you know, they change things up. Ooh, I forgot I was burning a gingerbread candle. Which room to smell like gingerbread? <sighs> Some city soaps and candles. They're better than Bath and Body Works. And they're less expensive. Um, and they will make you your own scent if they don't have something that appeals to you. Um, like my rose vanilla candle over there. Um, oh no, I love their candles. They make some beautiful scents like right here. Mm, there. <laughs> um, see, this is what I mean. You get used to being able to diversify on where something is in your background and then you get used to going like this. Like right here is my uh, Starman 715 mug, which I will leave Diego right here. Um, if I mention them, I'm going to link them. If I remember, yeah, yeah, there's a few videos where I'm like, oops, you still need to go back. Now, the only thing I haven't done is uh, used my editor tool, Kind Master. Um, we're putting in music because you have to upload the thing for the free music and then wait for YouTube to say, oh, that was your free music. And, well, you know, it's craptastic. Um, because <laughs> I don't always have proper editing on YouTube for us to be able to like use that anymore. They took it away. They bring it back. Take it away. Make up your mind, people. Um, I know I haven't shown like I have to send that off to Jessica Vargas. I'll link her here. She's due any day. Uh, for cute this baby girl. Um, so I gotta get that shipped off with the blanket and uh, the little jacket, the little hoodie hat, and the little baby booties that are furry. Because <laughs> that's kind of cute. And, the, and that cute Miss Stuffy that's right there. See, like, I can do this almost on cue now. So see, like, we can do these. How are we going to diversify if we want money? Okay, like I said, for myself, a person on SSI, I'm not on SSD yet because I'm not that old. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because um, I'm not that old. I may feel like it sometimes because of my body, but it's a given. Um, so back to that, you know, I just don't use it because I do have my SSI, which isn't much. I, I live under the poverty level. It may not look like I do um, because I scrape and save for things for the channel. This costs $240. Um, only one battery doesn't work. The camera itself, the camera itself is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. The camera works fine. I figured things out on it. It works, works fine for me. Um, and like I said, you know, for me, being uh, putting in paid promotion is like I said you know when I get my freebs from Sin City whether it's bath bombs whether it's extra soap lotion uh, very bath bomb dust they have a new product they ship it to me for testing to me that is a paid promotion because I am promoting a product for someone, which is true. So that when you put that in, you're actually endorsing a product. And you endorse the products that they're having you test, which is later today. I will be doing that for soak. 
Um, and that's going to be really great. <laughs> I just talked to Nicole from Sin City. Even she needs a foot soak every once in a while. You know, you get, girl, you get up earlier than I do. <laughs> you really do. You get up earlier than I do. For some reason, like, I will wake up at 3 or 3.30 in the morning again. For a while, that stopped, and then all of a sudden, boom! Like, what? My legs haven't cramped in a while, and then all of a sudden, last night, yeah! And I woke up at, like, the devil's hour, like, what? What? It's like, the devil's waking me up by hurting my legs. Ain't having that. Um... <laughs> So, uh, I actually slept on that sofa to try to help the pain, you know. Um, it's a really firm sofa, and sometimes it's good to take a nap on <laughs> it. is. It's, it's a really good sofa to take a nap on. I have a message on my phone. I'll check that in a few. Um, but, you know, I do have stuff coming up. You guys know that I have, like, a bunch of jewelry for a giveaway. It's called my Trick or Treat Giveaway. Um, I will announce for that, but the whole thing is, anything that I have is either I paid out of pocket, or like I said, for Sin City, I do promotion for them. So, some things I have bought, other things that they have thrown in is for product review. You know, PR. That's the only thing that I really get PR. Um, and I really appreciate them for that because I can reach out to you. Right? Uh, I can reach out to you, show you their products, tell you the smell, how it smells. Like, I have the, uh, <laughs> that sweet pumpkin spice oh I took a shower yesterday with the sugar scrub and then right after you didn't really need much of the body butter after because your skin is still a little damp after toweling off and then you just like use just like a little bit of that it doesn't take a lot and your skin is so moisturized from it and they have beautiful scents and this is what I'm saying is I do promotion for them so they give me product for a product review in which diversively that is a uh, promotionary video um, in which like I said I figure getting the uh, product that isn't listed on the invoice as paid promotion because it's like them saying, here, try this and let the world know how you like the product. And if we have a new product out that's not up on the, um, like the bath bomb wand um, that I have, and I'm going to use one today a little bit of one um, in my foot soak just so you guys get a good idea of you could just lay that out in a bathtub that's fine and everything I know I was going to do a summer um, mani petty party but you know shit happened um, <laughs> and that had to be put off until next year <laughs> Which, I'm not, I'm not hurt about that. Like, look, I had time to sew my regalia. Even though that jacket is over my regalia, I had time to make that. I had time to make my regalia. I had time to get this done for Halloween. I have my 31 looks of Halloween. Which, like I said, doesn't have to be like a whole 31 days. Because not everybody, I've noticed, like, people have left my channel. Okay, I had 447 people, and all of a sudden, boom, lost about ton of people. But you know what? That doesn't bother me. 
because I know eventually other people will come in and that's fine. A lot of people will be angry. I'm not the angry person. <laughs> um, I will just straight up tell you the truth. Now, you guys may be wondering what is the next beauty box I'm going to be getting. Okay. Um, Glitz Glam. It's $15 a month. And for a year's worth, I'm going to try them for a year, because you guys know I only do one company at a time, so I'm going to give them a whole year. They live in Jersey, I'm here in Jersey, it should be quicker shipping, no excuses, I'm expecting finally, later today, I'm supposed to be expecting my death wish copy in the mail. Now see, I'm not blaming death wish for that because I talked to DHL. They blamed it on death wish. Once it's in your hands, DHL, that is not death wish's fault. That is the fault of your laziness. Not doing the job for your client, which is death wish copy, and you're making them look bad. It's not their fault. It's the fault of DHL. So I spoke to the owner of Death Wish. We had a lovely conversation and he is a really nice person. So I discussed with him the equivalency of how you can make things better by not using a service which is doing your company a disservice by trying to make you look bad. And you lose money because you lose customers due to DHL's lack of service. Um, they used to be on point until all of a sudden, you know, everybody was looking for Glow. Um, but you know what? That's no excuse to be treating customers like crap and taking about 14 days to get something to somebody which should have only taken like a couple of days like it used to. So, you know, you can't blame Death Wish. You can blame DHL, which they blamed Death Wish for, you know, that not getting to me. Um, so, it is what it is. They uh, rec rectify a situation um, and life goes on. But like I said, you know, pay promotion. I have put in for Death Wish for their influencer application, not heard back yet, you know, because I put it in around the time that crap happened. Um, and that's fine. Maybe somebody hasn't got to that yet. Um, I'd be happy to do, uh, I do advertisement for them for free, um, and not, you know, I don't mind, um, because, like, the coffee mug I have over here is Death Wish. It's the only Death Wish coffee mug I own. Um, I do plan on, eventually, um, getting some of their other coffee mugs because I am a coffee mug collector. I mean like Bob Ross is right here. SOB and Ron Ron is right there behind the candle and the little boxes. I gotta reorganize all this. But uh, like you see my little uh, iron right there. But like I said, you know when you want to do um, money and use YouTube as your income platform, there's a lot of things that you really have to put forth in this. How many days am I going to do a video and catch followers? Am I going to make this interesting enough for the followers to want to actually be there? And then there's this thing of trying to have people pay you just to watch um, other videos. And do I want to do that? No. No, I do not want to do that because I don't think it's actually fair to all of my viewers if I have select videos that you're not allowed to see unless you pay me to see that. But then YouTube takes a cut of that in order for you to view it and I only get like part of 
whatever. I made three cents once and YouTube took that three cents. Three cents. <laughs> because of one video. Now videos are hit or miss on the platform and this is actually true. So let's say all of a sudden overnight was like some people all of a sudden overnight like poof had a thousand subscribers um, to their channel overnight. How that happened, I don't know. Um, I'm not expecting that to happen for me. Don't take that wrong. I don't expect that to happen to me. Viewers come and go. So if you can keep a steady rate, but you see these numbers way up there, but you see their views. How many times has a person viewed a video, which would actually be on this side, um, then it doesn't, it doesn't calculate. It doesn't, it just doesn't calculate, like, how many people are actually watching your video opposed to how many subscribers do you actually have? Um, and that's the other way that you're making your money, is you're also making your money off of views. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh no, it's an amount of subscribers that you have. Well, if your watch time goes up, okay, versus how many people you have, and then YouTube wants to pay you because the amount of views that you have. See, that's where, that's where people get like lost in confusion. Um, like Adam Sandoval said, and he's from Adam Sandoval uh, Rides. I will leave him right here. He has the K River Campground in Moyers, Oklahoma. Be sure to check him out. United States military veterans that make their reservation at a certain time, you get three free days at the Moyers, in Moyers, at the K River Campground. They have a lot of events that go on there. They hold a lot of events for people. I think it's really awesome what they do. And there's Grumpy Old Daryl and his wife Cheryl. I haven't been there. I'm like, one year I want to go to the K River Campground. I really want to go there. That's one of my things that I want to do. And, um, you know, but then again, see if it's okay to put out content while I'm there. Um, because I wouldn't want to do something that, you know, like, oh, this is like, I came here and I did my video, but I didn't check with them. But see, like, that wouldn't be okay for me to do because I would have to be respectful and ask them, would it be okay if I do my video, my YouTube channel, while I'm here? Um, now, while I'm out on a collab road trip tour with Rocco from Roaming with Rocco, which of course you guys know I'm already going to link him, um, when I'm on that trip, most of the way that I'm going to be able to do uploads for my videos is anywhere that has free internet or anywhere that, you know, like anyone that we know when we're in Florida, oh my gosh, that hair get my glasses on that hair and it didn't happen. <laughs> you have that one hair. One hair later. Okay, like, let's say people are using the Spongebob thing and I'm wondering how are they not, you know, getting monetized for that or demonetized for using, like, the uh, Spongebob thing? Like, I had some music that was free and then people flagged me for it. And I was just stooping around on my channel. So, alright, you know, people don't like me being honest, playful sometimes. And, you know, just plain having fun. And then they flag a video. And then you either have to change it, which is more editing. Um, or you have to take it down or set it to private. Okay. So, it's can be really hard. Like I said, a lot of people get confused between how many people you have subscribed to your channel versus, let me get another drink of water, 
versus how many people are actually watching your content. And look, you can have close to a million people, right? But your views might actually be maybe a couple of thousand on a video and that's how you're diversifying your income from YouTube. You could have a million views on a few videos and all your other videos may have very few views. But when you have that high rated view count is how you're making your actual income. Because you're making content that people actually want to see. So, I mean, they come back because it's you because you have loyal people. They will be there. Some of them may be your editing crew. They're your besties. Okay, so they want to watch your content. And sometimes that really works out for people. Other than that, you're relying on your everyday people to actually be caught by something in your video and be like, oh my gosh, I really love this channel. It's really cool. And, um, you know, there's other thoughts in people's heads on maybe why they like your channel. Maybe it's very calming for them. It's all in the persona of how you perceive yourself to other people. And with that said, I've talked long enough. I, I need to go find something to eat. Um, grab some more uh, zip ties for the boning. Um, get started on, and I'm waiting for that battery to charge too because I did figure something out with using the camera and my kind master, which I have loaded on this device. Um, because every once in a while, this device, could, I won't have the use of the camera as I do right now. Um, but, I'm not going to let that stop me. I have other ways to do video. And in fact, for my GoPro, I can use a 128 gigabyte uh, memory chip. Absolutely, excuse me. Um, and use that in my GoPro and that way I have more than one camera to use while I'm on my trip and I'm really thinking about doing that so that I have another way of doing that and and when using that it's just another way of editing your videos a specific way to fit in everything and that actually works out so during the trip, I won't be using this device for the camera. I know somebody just pulled up. Um, but I did want to like talk to you guys. Oh, it's been almost 30 minutes. <coughs> about why I don't use it for making money. Um, I really don't think that people are that interested <laughs> in me anyway. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Maybe I am interesting to some people because of things that I can do like painting, sewing, knit, crochet, teaching these things. And now that I have this camera, I'll be able to teach you guys knit and crochet a lot better because of the angle I will be able to have it at. The tripod is under the desk. Um, I gotta find the other piece to it that goes on the camera. It's in here somewhere. I just have to remember where I put it. I think I might know where I put it over in my um, military backpack. But, um, which, uh, that's my go-to travel bag. <laughs> so with that said, you know, I just want to go into like why I haven't used that for making money for myself, making a living for myself because you have to understand like that income is a taxable income unless you use in a different way. Do you put that money aside and then it's not in your um, and then you're not really using it for yourself. You can be using it for something else or you know handing it to someone else and I'm just saying you know because sometimes 
people like to help other people. So with that said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I have more videos coming for the rest of the weekend. Enjoy your day.